Let's start this first ever press review by having a look at today's Gazzetta dello Sport on the eve of the big one, the Derby d'Italia Juventus hosting Inter Sunday evening at 8.45 local time. The game has been dubbed a game of chess rather originally by La Gazzetta dello Sport. Sarri on the one side, Conte on the other. Three title winning moves is the front page headline. Sarri and Conte, a game of chess. The same article continues inside the paper with all the possible tactical moves of the two coaches. Further down, who will be the new messiah? There's a play on words with, of course, Lionel Messi. Two Argentines go head-to-head. -head. Paolo Dybala on the one side, Lautaro Martinez on the other. The Bianconeri man, Paolo, is flourishing in the shadow of Leo and Juve are reaping the benefits. Lautaro Martinez... The Bull won't have a crowd necessarily to entertain tomorrow, but Inter hope that he can drive them towards the league title. There's an interview with the 1978 World Cup winning striker Mario Kempes talking about the uh, two Argentines. And then further down, Inter and Juventus, the Bianconeri and Nerazzurri will be clashing not only on the pitch, but also in the transfer market. Mario Cardi, Sandro Tonali, Federico Chiesa and Timo Werner the men involved in that. Juve won the most recent battle with Inter for Kulusevski. Now they're on the hunt for summer signings. Keep an eye on Tonali. Beppe Marotta alongside Fabio Paratici in happier times when the pair were colleagues at Juventus now on opposite sides of the divided. Corriere dello Sport obviously focuses on the big one between Juventus and Inter, but also there's a headline which pertains to the possibility of free-to-air football in Italy, given the current coronavirus, the government and the FIGC, the FA, are against Lega Calcio and uh, Sky as they clash over free-to-air football. Further down, there was once a fiery atmosphere inside uh, Juventus Stadium. Not so tomorrow night. The game will be played behind closed doors as Il Corriere, Corriere dello Sport looks back at the time when Conte was at the Bianconeri helm. And then further down, Ronaldo and Dybala. The magic formula with them on the pitch together, Juventus have won 15 out of 19 matches. The aces for the Scudetto Chiellini is past fit to play, but he will start on the bench. De Ligt will play alongside Bonucci, according to Il Corriere dello Sport, while Romelu Lukaku waits for his friend Lautaro Martinez. It's a superb season for Lukaku, who's now scored 23 goals in all competitions. A trickier start to 2020 for the Argentine. Meanwhile, Safe pair of hands, Brozovic, the marathon man. He averages more than 12.5 kilometres per game. Handanovic should be back. He has been missing since the 26th of January. Bastoni, favourite to start over Godin. And finally, Barcelona and Napoli should be played with a crowd. Uh, the Minister of Health in Spain has said the match is not at risk. Plenty of fans from Naples prepare to flock to the Spanish port town. Orsato et al, no Champions League for them. The Italian refereeing teams have also been taken out of the Europa League. Finally, to conclude, Tutto Sport with the Maro Icardi front page news for the Turin based daily. Juve Inter Icardi is playing. Marito looms large amid the Argentine battle within a battle, the subplot between Dybala and Lautaro. He's fallen out with Paris Saint Germain. He wants to come back to Italy and he's even more attracted by. A move to Turin. The French side's plans could be to sign him from Inter before then selling him on to Juventus. Higuain also potentially involved. Juve Inter in the eyes of Icardi. Mauro's fed up. PSG's doubt. Their quandary. Is it worth keeping him? Neymar and Mbappe have overshadowed the Argentine who's very tempted by a possible future move to the Bianconeri. Here's why the deal is possible. 20 goals in 31 appearances for Ricardi. Only Mbappe with 30 has scored more. 70 million euros is what it would take for Paris Saint-Germain to sign him from Inter. And finally, Kulusevski, Chiesa and Tonali, special spectators of the Derby d'Italia. The Swede has already been signed. will cheer on his future Juventus colleagues. Two Italy internationals are at the centre of the transfer market speculation, Marotta and Paratici, fighting over their signature. Dybala, meanwhile, wants to once again don his mask. He scored only one goal in Serie A in 2020, but he broke the deadlock in the reverse fixture at San Siro and is preparing to do likewise again. Ronaldo, the guarantee. Our best is exactly that. And uh, Martinez on a mission for Messi, Lautaro, 
wants to haul the Scudetto away, wrest it from the grasp of CR7, and then in the summer he will embrace Leo Messi at Barcelona. That's all for this time from our press review. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back.